With 150 basis cut, it's going to be a challenging year for both Ministry of Finance and State Bank of Pakistan, with significant implications depending on the decision of IMF and a friendly country willingness to provide bilateral loans. This past year, we have seen high yet stable interest rate and a relatively firm rupee. But in FY25, the stability of both will be tested. While the interest rate might gradually fall, this will depend heavily on State Bank's goal to contain inflation to medium-term target of 5-7% to by September 2025. The size and timing of IMF loan plus foreign funding prospects will be crucial for rupees fate. National average headline inflation has significantly eased to 11.8% in May from 17.3% in April, which could lead to a cut in SBP's high policy rate of 22%. However, core inflation remains high, especially in rural areas, so SBP might avoid large interest rate cuts to, to prevent inflation from spiking again, especially with upcoming energy prices hike. Currently, the rupee trades around 280 rupees per dollar, but might lose value before June 30, as IMF pushes for a market exchange rate. The Ministry of Finance projects a 5.3 depreciation, while IMF estimates up to 16%. The discrepancy is critical for preparing realistic budget estimate, affecting external debt, servicing cost, and resource mobilization needs. The SVP agrees with IMF on making the exchange rate market-driven, but it's wary of potential economic havoc. From the significant rupee depreciation, the situation will become clearer after FY 2025 budget presentation. Furthermore, these rate cuts, which could weaken the rupee further unless dramatic change occurs. Pakistan fiscal dis discipline remains loose, with government borrowing crowding out of private sector. The SVP effort to control inflation often leads to economic slowdown, requiring further foreign funding and increasing external debt servicing cost. In the next fiscal year, the SVP might lower interest rate further to boost economic growth. However, this could increase import bill and lead to rupee depreciation, raising the cost of external debt servicing. The government projects a 3.6% economic recovery, but the rupee decline will keep Pakistan reliant on IMF and friendly countries for funding. The big question is whether the upcoming budget will offer solution to break the cycle.